feel so first. Yeah. I love when I feel first. Yeah. yeah. It's a good way to feel. First. This little like clipped back hair is giving me life. <laughs> I was going to say this little baby. <laughs> hey, hey guys. guys. <gasps> this is an exciting day. It is a very exciting day. We get to play with makeup. We get to play with a lot of a really fun lip stain. Uh, correction, my favorite, my favorite. And if you wanna know what they are, we'll tell you right now. We have teamed up with Sephora Collection to show you guys the brand new colors. From their Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains, they sent us this gigantic box. I think it's called a vault. It's called a vault. It's gigantic. Of all of the color. First of all, look at the outside of that. It's beautiful. It's a makeup girl's dream. Yeah, let's see the inside. like there's magical angel singing. So they came out with four collection cream lip stains and they had, gotta be careful, it's precious. I know, they had a number of colors and they added 27 new colors. Bring the total to 40. So we're about to show you all 40. They, like somebody said, they are her favorite. They just feel so amazing. They're easy to apply. They don't do the yucky, like cracking feeling. Yeah. They are so comfortable on the lips. Love them. Okay. So we are going to swatch every single one of these on our lips, tell you guys which ones are our favorite colors, and we wanna know which ones are your favorites if you've already tried them, and if not, if you see some you wanna pick up, be sure to share with us using hashtag Beauty Uncomplicated and hashtag Sephora Collection. You can take photos, yeah. tell us which ones you get. Yeah. Cause there are a lot of really good colors. Okay, let's get to swatching. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not like super technical on colors, so I'm gonna give them to you in the best of my ability. The first of our green lip stain color we have is on the color Nude Blush number 32, and it is a soft nude blush color. I feel like some of them have it built into the name, so you kind of know what it is. Yeah. So pretty. I feel like just enough pinky peach to it. Yeah. Next, we have Pink Peony, number 33. I feel like it is kind of in the same family as the previous one. It's got nude, but because it's called Pink Peony, I feel like it has a little more pink to it. Not not quite as peach. Right, the other one's more peach, and this one is more pink. I'm obsessed with this one, like really pretty nude. Next, we have number 40, Pink Tea, and I stinking love the names too. That is such a big thing for me, is not just you know, gorgeous colors and packaging and everything. I, I want cute names. Yeah. Is that too much to ask? No. So pink tea is kind of a dusty rose color and mm. oh, this one gives me life. It's like That's one like, of my go-to shades. Yeah. I would just put this on repeat. So pretty. I don't know if we mentioned, but these are $14 at Sephora. Next we have number 39, frozen strawberry, which makes me want to freeze strawberries and eat them now. And this one is going a little bit darker. And kind of mauve -y. Yeah, kind of a, a mauve brownie color. That's that's what we'll call it. If you love the 90s lip trend <sighs> thing, I feel like frozen strawberry is a good one for that. Yeah, it's got a little bit, it wants to be like a mauve red bricky brown 90s awesomeness. <laughs> Next we have number 37, Pink Frosting, and I was actually wearing this in a video recently, and you guys said, there was a comment that was like, oh, Tracy's giving me like grungy beach girl vibes because like oh, yeah. my hair was kind of wavy and like I just had, yeah, so. It's like a gray, dusty gray pinky kind of color. I mean, I think that's, that's kind of like my jam. Yes, Stephanie loves these kind of dusty, almost going into like a lavender purpley feeling. Ugh, Literally me. So pretty. You guys, this next one, number 21, Pretty Beige. And I would say it's um Pretty, pretty Beige. beige. <laughs> so this one is going to be your beige, still kind of in the grungy, slightly mauve category. 90s lip. Very, very 90s. I am digging And all of these are kind of in the nudes category, I would say. Right, definitely. Okay, next is a very interesting one, I think. This is number 45, Chai Latte. And it is really beige, but also I feel like, I mean, it I feel is. Like there's a little yellow coming in there, yellowy green. I was definitely tint. picking up a green tinge, yeah. yeah. So if you... It's basically taking the same color family, removing the pinks and peaches and adding yeah. more of like a gray green kind of color. Yeah, I think I think very grayish, like gray beige, gray brownie. That's another thing I love about this collection is how many fun colors there are. It definitely will take you outside of your comfort zone, I think, yeah. with some of these fun colors. Pretty, pretty exciting. 
Number 44, Purple Sunset. I am wearing it currently on my lips. It's confusing, right? Because you think, I can't wear that. It's not, you know, it's a crazy color, but it has still that mauve grungy look that feels like a pretty normal lip color. It's very purpley mauve, but in a vampy way. Yeah, it's definitely vampy lip bold but still like i'm not i don't feel like i'm too crazy right you know what i mean i still like feel i almost feel like sometimes a red lip could be scarier than that yeah because it's still kind of neutral let so. us know what you guys think about that i love it next we have number zero five infinite rose and this looks kind of like it has a little bit of a shimmer but i know that they're just described as mattes or satins i believe so maybe this is kind of like your satin type and this is i think we're getting into the pink Yes. Yes, we're getting to the pinks. So this is Infinite Rose. Ooh. This is a really pretty, like, peachy, really pretty. peachy, rosy color. Very pretty. I think okay. shimmer suits that color. Yeah, it's subtle. It, Yeah, I just think it's really pretty. It would be a good summer color, summer beachy color. The next two colors are favorites of mine. I've worn both of them multiple times. The first one is number 13 in Marvelous Mauve. And this is kind of right up my alley with the pinky colors that I like. It's got kind of a dusty look to it, but it's darker. I just love it. I've worn this a ton, like in my purse, ready to go at all It's times. her go-to on repeat type yes, of color. I love it. Okay, next is Pink Souffle, number 06, and I would say this is very close to Marvelous Mauve. It's more of like a brighter, pinker version of Marvelous Mauve. Yeah, I would definitely say it's it's kind of going into the... It takes the dust out of it. Yeah, kind of like, it's like a subdued Barbie pink. Yeah. It's, that's what I would describe Your entry-level Barbie pink. Entry-level. <laughs> I love the like, yeah. Entry-level Barbie pink. <laughs> but no, it's like a medium blue tone pink is what I would call it, and yeah. that is Pink Souffle. Next is Cherry Blossom number seven, and I would say this is almost diving into Barbie pink, but not quite, because I think there's one down the line that's like even pinker. So this is going to take the last one to a more intense pink. Yeah, this is definitely getting up there with Barbie pink. Yeah. Very summery and fun. Yeah, this is more of a deep blue tone pink. I just keep looking at them, because I like to see what they look like against my skin tone. Okay, next we have Sweet Raspberry number 38. Speaking of Sweet Raspberry, have we talked about what these smell like. No. Like a subdued scent. It's not it's something soft. that hits you in the face. Right. It's just a soft sweetness that makes me really happy. Mm. I'm not so, quite sure if it's fruity or not, but it's just a sweet scent that I, I like. I kind of get a sweet, I mean, I think it's fruity. I don't yeah. know. Sometimes my nose is, it doesn't know. Sometimes the nose doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet raspberry, definitely a raspberry color. And it is so pretty. This would be gorgeous. Like this is something that I think you could rock in the summer, but also would yeah. be really pretty transitional into like fall, fall colors. Just both ways. Like, oh, I gotta make my swatches smaller. I'm not gonna have room for my whole arm. Going up the arm. Yeah. Okay, number 19, Radiant Orchid. Orchard. <laughs> I was like, no, no, I read Orchid too. I read Orchid too. Do you know and why I read you Orchid? Said orchard? I was like, why'd she say Orchard? <laughs> I read Orchid because it's kind of an orchid color. Right. So it's Radiant Orchard, which that is such a hard word for me to say. Because I, don't your know I think your brain wants to say Orchid. Yeah. Because it looks like an orchid color. It's so interesting. It's one of those times where your mind read the color before it read what it actually said. So this is going to be your like pinky purpley orchid color. Like when you have the word blue written in green and you want to say green because it's green, but the word's blue. Yeah. Yeah. This is, oh, it's like um like a electric violet-y color. It's really pretty. Really pretty. And it's something that actually, I was really, really into this not too long ago, doing like the bright purpley lip. Obsessed with it. It looks great for nighttime stuff. Yeah. I feel like it would also do really good things for your teeth because it has a good blue undertone. It does. Yeah. It does. Next, we have African Violet, number 12. Ooh. And I would say this is kind of a violet tone. It's also kind of in the Barbie pink category. Yeah. But, I mean, you can see the purpliness to it, for yeah. sure. Oh, can I also just say that I love applying these, like, the, the doe foot. It's something about it makes it so easy to get, like, the Cupid's bow yeah. area. One of the easiest to apply that also, I've ever used. Also, the fact that it's a cream lip stain and it doesn't start out as a really thin liquid, it just glides on so smoothly and evenly and doesn't get patchy. Yeah, it's like more like you're applying like a cream lipstick, mm -hmm. like a like a liquid cream lipstick, mm -hmm. but then it it dries down to matte and it's just yeah, it's really good. Okay, so like you said, okay, so mine's lighter than Yeah, it's got more pink in it than purple from the Radiant Orchard. Right. 
African violet. That's a really fun one. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of a color you were rocking too. Yeah, in between those two. Next is number eight, whipped blush. Or we could call like it Barbie pink. pink. It's definitely Barbie pink. It is hot, hot, hot pink, y'all. Like it might even glow in the dark. Probably not, but that's what it looks like it would do. If you were like somebody who loved to rave or go places with black lights or something, you know, sometimes our bowling alley has black lights. <laughs> this would be a fun one. Cause I feel like it would, I mean, I don't know that it does, but I feel like it might. I mean, it's, it's electric. Next we have the color I'm wearing. We're kind of moving into the like burgundy brown and then on into like the orange red, so. Yeah, so this is copper blush and it's kind of a coppery blush color. It's what I have on my lips. So it's gonna be kind of like a red tone-y, brown -y. If you put E on the end, it sounds a little bit more like you, or you just know what you're talking about. So I liked this color because it kind of felt like a My Lips But Better or a My Lips but a slight bit darker, and I just I really like it. Number 41, a vintage rosewood. And you know it's kind of rosewoody. E, vintage -y. <laughs> Yeah, you just add E to the end. And this is going to be, I don't even know how to explain it except for beautiful. It's another My Lips But Better, but darker and more like rosy, almost going into like a reddish. It's like, like I would red. say it's like, it's a little bit more red than yeah. copper blush. It's trying to, a little bit darker. It's trying to dip its toe in a little bit more of a red color, but it's still Still got that nat natural kind of finish to Did it. Did you say it was like, like a brick lips. red? I said it had a little bit of red in it's it. It's like a soft brick red. Yeah. Okay, next we have Burt Sienna number 24. I think that has a little purple in it. Yeah. This is definitely, whew, this is gonna be fun. I can tell. Aubergine. Kind of got a wine vibe. It's kind yeah. of a Bordeaux aubergine-y. Yeah. Cause it's, cause it's got a tinge of purple in there, but a it little still bit of that is red a red kind burgundy of kind of color. Yeah, it's really pretty. I think that would be gorgeous for fall. So gorgeous. Number 14, blackberry sorbet. And it's very berry, which it says in the name. So I feel like this one has even more of that like red wine kind of, well, actually, I lied, it's going a little more pink. A little more of a like a pinky, purpley wine color. Yeah. Less brown, more into the like purpley red. Now I wish it was fall. Right? So I could wear these again. Yeah, the dark colors, it's like giving me fall, fall vibes. vibes. You guys, we're halfway there. Next we have Rosewood, and it's number 42, which is my favorite number. It's funny because we have a vintage Rosewood, and that's Rosewood, so it's yeah. kind of like that's vintage version, yeah. but lighter. Yeah, this one's a little bit darker than vintage. So like vintage, maybe like it aged and it like Go faded lighter. just a little bit, yeah. yeah. Ooh, now this is like a deep wine color, yes. It's also giving like warm, more warm vibes than the other ones. The other ones were kind of like purpley, cooler tone. Yeah, this is like a deep red Picking wine, red. like not any purple. And I would say it's more like a burnt, kind of orangey red. Okay, next we have Pretty Auburn, number 26. It's and this one's like a pretty deep, auburn. yeah, like auburn brown because it's kind of a brown color. This is gonna give you vampy brown vibes on your lips. I love a deep brown lip color. I do too, it's really pretty. I had one on with this eye look. Oof, it was, yeah. it was really pretty. I feel like they're underrated. I feel like like dark brown vampy lips are very underrated. I think people are afraid of them and I don't think that you should be. I think it can just really give you just this like, like we keep saying grunge, but I mean, it's but I also like, feel like a, a sophisticated. Yeah. Like, it's like a glam look. Glam, I like that. Okay, next we have 43 Crimson Crush and I'm gonna go on a limb and say it's got a crimson tone to it. Yeah, it's so dark. Okay, so this is gonna be, let me see yours. It's kind of like mine, but it's pulling more red. Yes, it's pulling more red, but even I feel like darker. Yeah. Darker with a little bit more red tone to it. Yeah, Black Cherry 27, I think it's going to be kind of similar to the last one, but I think it's gonna have a little more purpley in it. Yes. Ooh. Gorgeous. Yeah. Dark, vampy, like red, purpley amazingness. Okay, we're going into the corally, orange orangey, red. and then into reds. Yeah. So the first one is 22 Pink Latte. I want a pink latte. Why aren't lattes pink? Why aren't they? I love lattes. So this is like a, like a burnt peach. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna call it. I like that. Burnt peach. So this is gonna be very like- Or a dusty peach. Yeah. Ooh. That's gonna be fun. I really like this. I feel like the peaches and salmon lip colors are really having a moment right now. A moment? I, yeah, I think they are. So if you wanna have a moment with it, go for pink latte. Okay, next is number four, Coral Crush. It's a coral color. I thought for a second it was another one with shimmery look to it. It might kind of be, I'm not sure. But it's a hot 
coral color. Ooh, Ooh. it's electric, you guys. This is another electric one. Do you remember when we were rocking all of the bright lipsticks? Yeah. I do. This is beautiful. Good summer color. Yes, this is 09 Watermelon Slice. Redder. It's like a deeper coral color. More red in it, I think. Like a medium tone coral. Whoa, this Whoa, is also electric. electric. Mm -hmm. Yours, Yours is like tangerine-y. Yours is like sort of watermelon. Yeah. It definitely does look like watermelon. The next one is number 10, Mandarin Muse. I'm guessing this one's gonna have a little more orange to it. It looks more like a yes. true orange. Oh, oh yes. buddy. I think orange lips are also having a thing. I just love orange. I think it's really fun. I don't care if they are having a thing. I wanna have a thing with them. Yeah. They're really pretty. Next we have number 25, Coral Sunset. And this is kind of like, I wanna say burnt again, but it's it's like a- It's a burnt orange for burnt sure. Burnt orangey red, dipping its toe in red. And I feel like that's a very unique color. Mm -hmm. I don't think this Copper. is, it's, it's not a color, yeah, it's not a color I feel like you see a lot, so it's cool. That's another thing, I feel like there's some colors in here that you just don't, don't see. Don't see everywhere, yeah. It's, there's something for everyone. Yeah. This is number 18, Flame Red, and it's getting even closer to red, but it's that warm, orangey kind of red. I feel like red lips are underrated. I know that it's like classic, but I feel like more people should embrace it and not be afraid of it, I, I think they're awesome. Love this, this is definitely an orange red, and I love it so, so much. I think. I think all reds are pretty on, on blondes. I'm just speaking this because I'm blonde, but I really love orange orange reds on some blondes. I yeah. think it's really pretty. Next we have 01 Always Red, and I feel like this is gonna be your classic red, very, you know, middle of the road. So not too orange, not too blue. Yeah. Very pretty. Classic. Yes, very classic red. It's gorgeous. And the next one's gonna bring in a little more blue tone. It's called Strawberry Kissed. It's number three. Kind of like a pinky It's gonna give you, red. yeah, pink vibes with red. So if you're afraid of red, but you like pink, this is kind of up your alley. It's so gorgeous. pretty. It's also kind of softer than your typical red. So if you're so afraid. So if you're afraid, it's good for that too. Yeah. Oh, we're getting into purples. I'm so excited. Purple. Okay. First purple Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain we have is number 35, Bohemian Purple. And this is a dusty, I think it's a dusty red purple. It's red. I see it because this one has more blue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my this is so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I almost put this on and wore the whole video. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. 34 Wisteria Purple. This is going to bring back more of like an icy gray light purple. And I think it's so much fun. This gives me like ice queen vibes. I love it. Next is number 20, White Iris, which I think is a really fun name for a lip color. And it, it kind of looks like it's gonna be one of the electric ones. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to swatch this. Whoa. Whoa. It's That's like intense. It's, I lo it's like it's, it's glowing. Like it's lit within, yeah. <laughs> it's it's lit. like It's glowing. That is crazy. Oh That's my gosh. One of the brightest ones I It is one here. of the brightest. This is number 15, Polished Purple. It's another one of those that looks like it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I think it's like the satin, satin ones. Yeah. And it's a deep purple. It's got some, I think, red to it maybe. No, it's definitely more blue toned. It's very it's blue toned. It's like a very blue toned purple. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Y'all, all these colors are making me so excited. I just want to put it has almost a metallic look to yeah, it. Yeah, it does. I don't know if that's the color reflecting or what, but it's really, really fun. Next we have number 28. This is called Nightbird. And it's the darkest shade in the Yeah, palette. it might be a black, which is exciting. Whole buddy. This black. I'm really excited. Because black lipstick's really hard sometimes to get the inner part of your lip to cover. Mm -hmm. So with these cream lip stains, I feel like they do a pretty good job of like, you know, it's adhering everywhere room. you need them to go. So a black one is awesome. Let me see. It almost has a greeny teal look to it. I think it has a slight undertone of teal. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, because I next feel one's like dark forest, which goes into green. For the most part, I think you're just gonna get black. It's gonna look very black. Yeah. Well, the next one is a greeny color, a teal color, and it's number twenty nine, dark forest. It looks really pretty. Yes, this is really, really fun. It is a dark foresty tealy color, and it's so pretty. So pretty. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Okay, next we have number thirty one, siren song. It's so fun. It's such a pretty color. It's like a sea foamy green color. It's gonna be like like white, white iris, I can tell. Oh, buddy. It's like they're vivid pastels, if that makes sense. So bright. So, so bright. bright. 
so fun. Right, and we have number 30, Sea Mist, which is going to be a bright turquoise color. Almost and like robin's egg blue. Yeah, let's see if it's bright. Pretty bright. It's pretty bright. It's not quite as electric, but it has got a very opaque. Still that like vivid pastel yeah, kind of look. Still has a very bright look. It's really fun. I love blue lipstick so, so much. Fun. All right, guys, that is all 40 of Sephora Collection cream lip stains done. I think that they are awesome. You know, you can find so many different colors in this collection. There's definitely going to be multiple ones that you guys are going to love because I know that there are at least one, two, three, four, five, like 10 plus, plus. just looking at my hand that I love. Yeah. And I mean, there are wearable everyday colors. There are super awesome night colors. You can look at it seasonally. There's awesome Special colors events. for summer. Yeah. I mean, I think basically there are so every awesome color ones. that you would ever need in your life. If we haven't said it already, you know, we love how easy they are to apply. They're super comfortable. To wear long lasting so you can wear it from the morning to the evening you can you know not be worried about being at events where you've got to have your lip color going strong all day long because it will all right guys we want to know which ones are your favorites from this collection if you've tried the original colors or if you've picked up any of the new ones and be sure to share them with us using hashtags for a collection and hashtag beauty uncomplicated and don't forget to check the description below we will have links and we'll also have the entire list of all the colors so you can reference them and go back and look at what colors in the video and see which ones you like very important just tell us your favorites too down below because I want to know which ones are your favorites if they match up with ours. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and we're going to talk to you guys in the video super soon. We sure will. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.